Hi, my name is Anthony, and you're going to learn about porcupines today. Why is that? Because we actually have a porcupine. Say hello to Thistle. This is Thistle. He is a North American porcupine, and he is 11 years old. At the age of one month old, he was orphaned as a child, so the humans helped take care of him to make sure that he stays healthy and happy. Now, porcupines started all the way off in Africa. Before they all started to migrate when the continents were a lot closer together and ended up in South America. Now, when South America had all these porcupines, they started to migrate north, which now ends up with our North American porcupine. Look at you, buddy. Hey, you want to... <laughs> <laughs> so, now that the porcupines were in North America, they had to find food, shelter, and a habitat to live in. So porcupines live in small burrows and areas underneath hollowed out logs and the bottom of a bunch of different kinds of trees. Now, porcupines are nocturnal, which means they sleep at night. Oh yes, you do. <laughs> so, since they sleep at night, all their natural predators have to hunt them during the night. Now, if you can see on top, he has a bunch of quills. Can you guess how many quills he has? I can tell you. They have 30,000 quills! <laughs> now, since they have 30,000 quills, they don't need to think very much, and they don't need to run very fast. The maximum speed of a porcupine is around three miles an hour. And they aren't well known to be the most intelligent species, because as soon as they get upset, they start to have all those quills come right back out again. Now, all those quills actually have some pretty hollow stuff inside, which means that they basically have their own life jacket if they want to go swimming. Now, they're pretty closely related to the beaver, which means that they have a lot of beaver-like qualities, like the big tail, the big orange teeth they use to gnaw on things, and actually the orange teeth doesn't mean that they don't brush their teeth very often. It's actually a different kind of enamel in their mouth. It's a lot harder, a lot easier to bite into things that they find in the wild. Oh yes, oh yes, Thistle. Thistle enjoys nice little treats, such like apples. As you can see with his hands, he uses his hands to grab things. He has four main fingers that he grabs things with. Now, they're not claws like super sharp claws like canines or felines have. They're rounded off so they can climb trees and grab things just like he's doing now. And if you can see on the underside of him, he has no quills. That way, he can bend over and it doesn't hurt his body. But, unfortunately for him, he does have natural predators, such as any kind of feline, so like bobcats, mountain lions, also some canines, like coyotes, wolves, they all prey on porcupines. If you've ever seen a dog that has a bunch of quills stuck in his face, it's not because the porcupines shoot him out. It's because they stuck their face in the back of a porcupine and they learned their lesson. And they got all those puffs, all those ready. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So, one final thing about the quills of the porcupine is they actually have a bunch of porcupine quills that actually derive from hairs. Now these porcupine quills, they get poked on by the black parts. And if they go inside your skin, it takes half the pressure as it does for a hypodermic needle at the doctor's office to stick into your skin. And they have these microscopic barbs going the opposite way, so it's harder to pull them out. Now Thistle, every adaptation Thistle has to make sure that he's going to be safe is a defensive mechanism. He is a complete herbivore. He is not going to eat your face, and he's not going to eat your family. <laughs> so. The last thing I want you guys to all remember as we're thinking about porcupines is that you don't have to be scared of them because they don't shoot their quills! Thank you very much. <laughs>